What's up, Lakeside? Happy Wednesday. Announcements for today. Tonight, 6 o'clock, Lakeside Live and Lakeside Kids will be meeting, as well as our James Bible Study for Adults. Uh, so we hope to see you tonight at Lakeside, kicking off at 6 o'clock, wrapping up around 7.30. Today's Bible study comes from James chapter 3, verses 3 through 5. It says this, When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal, or take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. We were studying this passage Sunday morning in our uh, kids' small group, student small group, during the 10 o'clock service, and we actually got to thinking about what, what is the tongue? It's a really weird muscle. If you were to chop it out and look at it, it's kind of freaky. But the power that that tiny little muscle has over our entire body and over our entire course of our life is truly phenomenal. And it's important for us to understand that. It's important for us to understand the power that our tongue wields. With it, we set the course for our life. We set the course for if we're going to honor God or if we're going to curse God. The tongue has that power. As you apply this to your life, evaluate how are you allowing the Lord to guide your tongue? Because if we try to do it on our own, if we try to set the course for our tongue on our own, 10 times out of 10, we're going to fail. Eventually, it's going to lead us down that path of sin. It's going to lead us down that path of destruction. But if we allow the Lord to guide our speech, if we allow the Lord to guide our tongue, we say, God, I can't do this on my own. I need your help in controlling my tongue. He's going to show up and he's going to help you do that. And you're going to become better and better at it. So this week, while you pray, pray to the Lord and ask him to help you direct your tongue. Help your words be fruitful and always point others to him. Not to ourselves, not to the world, but only to the Lord. Have a great day, Lakeside.